Which art gallery in the world is the best? The Uffizi Gallery, Florence's most well-known and significant museum, won first place, according to the Times. It was built between 1560 and 1581 by Giorgio Vasari, Alfonso Parigi, and Bernardo Buontalenti, and it is the most visited museum in Italy, with over 1.7 million visitors just in 2012. Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will take a tour in the Uffizi Gallery, the world's greatest museum. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. An organized Uffizi Gallery tour is highly advised if you are planning a visit, because it is very easy to get lost in the hallways, and the lines outside can be very demoralizing. Worst case scenario, five hours. The number of artworks, paintings, sculptures, bas-reliefs, altarpieces, and so on, displayed under the roof of the Uffizi is essentially incalculable. A little historical context. The Palace of the Gallery was built by Cosimo the de' Medici, who wished to consolidate the government offices, the court, and the state archives under one roof, during the Renaissance era, when Florence was at its most prosperous. It was built at the beautiful Piazza della Signoria, as was previously mentioned, and was designed by Giorgio Vasari, the Palazzo Vecchio's architect. Over time, more and more portions of the structure transformed into exhibition spaces for numerous works of art acquired by the House of Medici. Vasari claimed that the greatest artists of the time congregated at the Uffizi for beauty, work, and recreation. The museum was formally opened to the public in 1765. A selection of must-see works of art. The gallery is divided into three levels. The lower ground floor is where the ticket office is located. The first floor has a number of interesting rooms, such as the Caravaggio room, and another room devoted to the Caravaggeschi. And the third floor is where the majority of the exhibition is located. This floor has 45 rooms, each of which is devoted to a different artist or artistic movement. The Room of Caravaggio Between the 16th and 17th century, Michelangelo Merisi da Caravaggio worked in Italy. He is most known for his dramatic paintings, which mix a realistic observation of the human condition, both physical and emotional, with a theatrical use of light. Judith Slaying Holofernes by Artemisia Gentileschi and Salome with the Head of John the Baptist are two more stunning works from the school of Caravaggio. The Uffizi houses three iconic works by this contentious artist, Medusa, Bacchus, and The Sacrifice of Isaac, by Battistello. The Room of Botticelli Sandro Botticelli, one of the greatest painters of Florence's golden age, is honored in this sizable gallery. Born there in 1445, he produced works under Lorenzo de' Medici's patronage. Sandro Botticelli is renowned around the globe for the melancholy mood of his works, the delicate expressions on the faces of his feminine characters, and in especially for capturing the Neoplatonic concept of divine love in the shape of a naked Venus. The Birth of Venus, Primavera, the Return of Judith to Bethulia, Magnificat Madonna, Palace and the Centaur, Cestello Annunciation, and many other incredible works may all be found in the Uffizi Gallery.
The Room of Leonardo da Vinci. He was a painter, sculptor, architect, inventor, engineer, anatomist, and a man of inexhaustible curiosity and boundless creativity. And his mind may be more than that of any other personality best epitomized the Renaissance humanist ideal. He was born in Vinci, a charming rural community close to Florence in 1452. At the age of 14, he began his apprenticeship at Andrea del Verrocchio's Florentine workshop. According to Vasari, Verrocchio was so intimidated by him that he put down his brush and never painted again. How can we, regular people, briefly describe Leonardo's life and work? Let's just say that his early works, like The Baptism of Christ, created in collaboration with Verrocchio, Annunciation, which is regarded to be Leonardo's earliest full work, and The Adoration of the Magi may be found in the Uffizi, one of his famous unfinished masterpieces. Other priceless works by Luca Signorelli, Piero di Cosimo, Francesco Bodicini, Perugino, and Verrocchio are also present in Room 15. The room of Raffaello Raffaello Sanzio, simply known as Raphael, was born in Urbino in 1483. His father was a painter at the court of Federico da Montefeltro and taught him very young how to employ the basic painting skills as well as exposing him to the concepts of humanism. He traveled to Florence in 1504 after accepting Perugino's invitation to become the master painter's apprentice in Perugia in 1500. There, he was greatly influenced by Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Masaccio. Raphael painted some wonderful, unforgettable works of art in the Cradle of the Renaissance, including the Madonna of the Goldfinch, 1505-1506, a very famous self-portrait, 1504-1506, and the Young Man with an Apple, 1505. All of these paintings can be seen in Room 66, along with some other works from earlier eras, such as the portrait of Pope Leo the Tex with two cardinals and the portrait of Pope Julius II. That's all for today's video. What do you think of the Uffizi Gallery and the masterpieces it contains? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends. Like, and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out any of our latest updates. Thank you for watching, and buon appetito!